Good day, collectors and viewers. Social Distance Warrior is back with video number four. And today we're going to feature Bounty Hunter, famous one from the Star Wars universe, as you might have guessed, Bosk. Now, Bosk made his debut in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, his figure came out in that um, Kenner line way back in 1980. So that first figure would have been this fine gentleman over here. Uh, again, I was fascinated with anything that was alien or strange looking as a kid. And Bosk was right up that alley. I love the colors, you know, the brown with the yellow, with the white, with the orange, you know, turtleneck around his neck there. I always thought it was amazing. I always envisioned in my mind what kind of alien was he, uh, you know, from his line there in Empire. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that fascinated me. What did he say? What did he tell that Imperial officer when he said, bounty hunters, we don't need their scum. How cool is this guy? So standard figure from back in the day. I don't have the gun for this guy. I'm missing the gun, but a favorite of mine, again, growing up, just like Boba Fett, Bosk was was the guy for me. The name is cool, you know? You got Bosked, right? The, the name is just awesome. So that's Bosk, uh, 1980. Uh, the next time he would have seen a release after the original trilogy was done was all the way in 1997. So 1997, Power of the Force 2 line launched. Uh, 1995, actually. So 97, when we reached second, third wave, around there, when they changed to the green card... Back over here, Bosk made his debut. Out comes Bosk, and Bosk got a nice update to that original figure. Uh, a lot more realistic color-wise, color adaption-wise, with the with the yellow, with the brown skin tone to the one that we actually see on screen. Uh, he came with, you know, his rifle that you see him in, and he came with a blaster as well, which you can see back in the packaging there. Uh, standard five points of articulation. They did make his, you know, wrist or his waist uh, swivel as well. So you have that option there. But again, a great update. Thankfully, by the time this guy came out, they moved away from the beefy look and they were back into what collectors actually wanted, which was a figure, you know, that would hold up nicely on our shelves. So that's 97. He got a re release a few times in some battle packs. And then the next time that we were going to see Bosk would have been. In the Saga line. So the Saga line, which continued after Attack of the Clones, they made a universal line called the Saga line. And Bosk made a reappearance with a new sculpt. That'll be this guy over here. Uh, again, an update to the previous one. They really went accent from the Power of the Force 2 one and made him more stylized like the vintage one with the black accents over here. You can see the black accents running around, you know... Um, around his sleeve and around his, you know, shoulders over here. It adds a nice, you know, tone to the figure as well. Um, the Power of the Force 2 one doesn't have any emblem on the shoulder. This one does. So he's been updated in that regard as well. Emblems, that one doesn't have anything. Uh, the head sculpt is, is nicer. If we put them side by side, uh, they went with a more open mouth, which is more towards the boss we know as opposed to the previous one, and all in all, a better figure. Uh, Articulation-wise, he has a little bit more articulation than that Power of the Force 2 one, because you can also swivel him at the wrists, like right where he meets his shoulder joint, you can swivel. There's not much to do with him there, other than you want, it, want him to open his hand and say, give me some money, you know, Boba Fett gets all the bounties, give me some money. But no, yeah, it's nice that they added that little feature there. Uh, he also has that swivel on his feet as well. So you can, you know, tilt them in and out and position him in this regard. Uh, waist as well, just like the original one did. I mean, the Power of the Force 2 one did. And of course, you know, arms and head, the standard stuff. So an update, 2004, that was the Bosk. I think from all of them, this is probably the one that's most challenging to stand. Looks like he wants to do so. Good boy, stay over there. So uh, 1980, 1997... So 17 years between from 97 to 2004 would be the next release. And then beyond that guy there, we got the ultimate Bosk. So I don't even, I, I don't even hear chimes of we need another Bosk. They made a perfect one in the vintage original trilogy collection. Um, 
the vintage original trilogy collection would have been the 2007 wave. Uh, it had him, it had a number of guys in there. Also, IG-88 was one of them. Vespin Luke, uh, Hoth, Han Solo, Andor Leia, and the Snowtrooper. That would have been the whole wave, almost entirely composed of Empire Strikes Back figures, except for the Leia. That's the next time we see him on the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection card back. And I have the figure open here as well. And this figure is perfect. So they went one step further with this figure, right? Uh, he's got articulated elbows. You know, the wrists swivel. Uh, he does have the, you know, the joint on the shoulder. You can move his arm up and down. Uh, head comes all the way around. It's on a ball joint. Um, this piece that goes around the neck, they made a separate piece. So it it's, moves around. It gives it a 3D look. It looks a lot more realistic as a result. Uh, on his rifle, they painted the the strap that goes around the shoulder strap. It's brown as opposed to the black on the rifle. So they distinguish the colors there. And then you can see his flight jumpsuit. It's got, you know, lots of detail and separated parts sitting on there too with the belts and the connectors there. Um, articulated knees. So you can, you know, sit your boss down if you had to. Uh, and of course, you, same with the ankles, articulated ankles as well. So, you know, boss can do, you know, any ballet poses you need him to do. He can sit, he can swim if you wanted to, whatever your fancy is in this regard. And of course, he's got his waist, you know, the swivel on the, um, uh, on the chest there. Uh, and let's see, have a look at him on the back. He's got that tube running, you know, from the side of him there on the, on the front to the back as well connecting so a lot of that three-dimensional look on there that adds such realism and if we you know zoom in close up on his face you can just see the detail you know that they put on there on the mouth like look at the head like well, look how far we've come on Bosk and this is 2007 so we're going back you know 13 years 13 plus years here and they made a perfect figure and then you know the shoulder emblems are there just like the Saga one had uh in the black on the um I don't know if you can see it on the camera here but the black running around the the shoulders around where you know his shirt is meeting up at his elbow it's got like a little silver tang running through the middle of his well just like the photo does you know over here so they went all out on detailing everything on this figure he's a perfect figure I, I'd sooner have them invest their times on figures they haven't done and if they want to just re-release this guy in a card so I don't have to bust open my bubble blister here because all this stuff is taken away from the beautiful picture, I'd definitely buy another one. So uh, that figure is perfect. That figure is, you know, the definitive Bosk. So that was 2007. And then the next time we'd see Bosk, I'm not sure if he's going to stand. Yeah, the next time we see Bosk, oh, he's not going to stand. Hold on, Bosk. One second, Bosk. One second, don't give up, okay? So the next time we see Bosk is in a Clone Wars outfit. He's in a Clone Wars episode. They made a battle pack of him that came with the Slave One, the Mace Windu ship, then a whole bunch of figures, including a Boba Fett figure and a Bosk figure that you can only get through that set. And that's an amazing figure as well. So if you like the art styling of the, the Clone Wars stuff, you know, you get Bosk in there and he's got such a nice little, you know, cowl like look on his face in that animation style and he's got articulated knees you know ankles elbows you can swivel his wrists right uh, he's got his rifle uh the head back and forth again in that art style it's nice to have a different bosk than just the standard regular ones so that's 2010 and the last bosk that we're going to see released thus far to date from 1980 till now would be when disney took over they had the mission series just like they had the boba fett figure they also had a two-pack with the bosk figure and that'll be this one here and i'm not sure what style they were going for i don't know why they went you know from this figure here which was an ultimate version to back to five points of articulation the only guess that i can have is that i, that I can make is that uh they didn't really know where the line was going to go beyond there whether maybe maybe the cost of you know licensing was more expensive with Disney rather than Lucas, uh, and they kind of went back to that five points of articulation era, and I kind of skipped out a bunch of them. I acquired this one through a trade. Uh, the look is more like a modern you know vintage look. So if we took this figure here, 
and we say, okay, if we wanted to make a modern line of five points of articulation, that's probably the figure. But, you know, the vintage one is still better looking than this one here. But nonetheless, a different looking Boskin. For some reason, uh, instead of him holding his gun in his, in his uh, right hand, he can only hold it in his left hand there because it's the only hand that's got any kind of, you know, grip to hold that rifle. But it's a nice looking Bosk. It just, you know, it's almost like we went backwards instead of forwards. One last thing I just wanted to slip in. Besides those figure, we did have a 2015 release Black Series Bosk. Wanted to get him in here, show him some love. Uh, this figure here, you can see, great looking figure. Uh, it kind of looks like he's supposed to have an articulated jaw, but not really. Uh, awesome sculpt. Uh, we get him in a 6 inch glory. Uh, he's got his rifle, you can pose him. Articulation, just like the vintage collection one. Uh, color wise, I like the yellow better here than on the last one that we got in the vintage original trilogy collection. But overall, as a figure, with the loose compartment, the, the uh, gadget and stuff like this part here, I like this one better. I don't know why. I just like having that piece loose. I think it just kind of gives it an extra, you know, dimension to the look of that figure overall. But that's, I just wanted to show that six inch Bosk as well and stick him along with these guys in there and say, Hello. Oh, he just took out the Clone Wars one. He doesn't like the Clone Wars. So that's all the Bosks that have come out. Uh, maybe some slight paint vari variations on any that were released in uh, Battle Pack, Multi Pack, Bounty Hunter Pack, whatever you want to call it. But that's the Bosk, and that's him in all his glory, 1980 to present. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's make some more videos. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching.